day, Crafty Chums, it's Nikki here, aka Car Syndicat, aka Car Syndicat's Life, and um, I'm going to be, this canvas didn't quite turn out as nicely as it could have, so um, sorry about that, I've got a glare from a light that I've got, got on there, but um, so I'm going to be working on this one as a mixed media canvas, because um, waste not want not. <laughs> Um, I want to keep a lot of the colour and things there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cover it with clear gesso which will make it easier for me to work over, work on, work over. So uh, let me just get a bigger brush and that's what I'm going to do. Although it's showing white here, and when it dries, it will be a clear gesso. So, anyway, I'll come back when it's all dry and covered. Okay, so uh, here I am with the voiceover and doing super fast speed because <laughs> it's a, a two hour long video. Um, I'm using graphite tint watercolour crayons um, to do the outline of the mermaid and the fish. The fish that I saw um, in the in the painting, I just saw it there and, and just went round it and drew it. Um, I'm using my favourite Caran d'Ache watercolour crayons here because um, I wanted a kind of a translucency to the mermaid and um, my men gave that up a little bit later on where I added acrylic paints because it didn't quite work out as I wanted to, but um, it was a good pace, good base to start with. I felt, um, so I'm just adding, adding, <laughs> just adding some um, highlights to the fish. I really just did an outline for him and left the colour that was underneath um, as it was because I thought you didn't really need anything extra adding to him. So um, all I'm doing is just shading around the edges of him when I do him. Now I left my. Uh, Lovely mermaid flat chested this time. <laughs> um, just simply because, why not? <laughs> so she's not a buxom wench or anything, so um, no, I just thought I'd just leave it au naturel. As a fish would be, nice and sleek. She's got a few muscles in her arms, obviously, because she needs them <laughs> to swim underwater. And um, yeah, so I've uh, I'm using some uh, Posca pens as well for the white. I've got a white Posca there. I think a bit later on I do actually take out my acrylics. Um, I had great problems with her face and in the end you'll see me um, actually paint over her face because I didn't like it at all and redid the face. Wasn't entirely happy with it and wish I'd just left it blanked out actually. But there you go, live and learn. Um, yeah, that, that fish, I think he came out actually rather neatly because um, that was a bit of intuitive painting that I did there, getting the fish in there. So I'm using some Lumiere paints now for the fish tail because the Lumiere paints are um, very uh, glittery. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Luminescent <laughs> Lumiere paints of light. And very re reflective, and uh, and as we go along, you'll be able to see uh, um, them shining in the light as we go along there. Just putting in the fish scales, which actually you know took a long time. This is super fast forward, as I said. <laughs> I can put up a, s a slow version, but the um, video length is over two hours, and uh, I know not not many people want to see a two-hour video, so. Uh, so that's why I did the speed up of it. Um, yeah. What else can I say? Yeah. Her, her face was okay for a while and then I just suddenly decided I didn't like it. <laughs> I don't know why, I just did. <laughs> um, well, what else can I say? Yep. Yeah, that's where you see me paint right, paint it out. 
put in some nice gills for her to breathe through, even though she's got a mouth, she's got gills as well, obviously. <laughs> yeah, taking more care this time. I think it's because I um, drew her face first time flat down, so I'm just lifting it up to get a better perspective on the face. Um, I always find that if you try and draw it flat, a flat, a, you get an elongated, weird looking face anyway, but she's a fantasy figure, so t I suppose it doesn't really matter anyway. Spend a long time redoing the face. I used acrylics and Posca pens to do redo the face. Put highlights in the hair, highlights on the lips, you know, just going on. Got some nice highlights on her shoulders. Yeah, yeah still working on that face. Oh yeah, so um, in some more intuitive painting here is that I thought that these bits of blue at the bottom actually look like rocks. So that's what I went with. I'm just putting in some shadow um, and putting in some rocks into the bottom there. Just a few highlights on there as well, just to suggest to one side. I've no idea why I pointed to that bit there. <laughs> but um, yeah. So this is the finished painting and um, just trying to show you the shine. I think I'll put the light back on in a minute so you can see the shine of the Lumiere paints on it. She turned out quite nicely and um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and uh, join me again soon. <laughs> I like painting mermaids. First time I've done a flat chested one though, you know, so hey ho. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for joining me, thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking, thanks for sharing, thanks for uh, commenting, and uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye.